Okay guys, so what I'm going to start doing is running some uh, match breakdowns. I found these really, really useful in the past, um, and they're just a good way to highlight some key points. Uh, you can start to see you know, what some really high level competitors are doing. Also, how I, I start to look at breaking down video as well. So the first one I want to share with you is uh, one of my favorite matches from 2015. It's between um, Hafa Mendes and uh, Cabrinha, or Rubens Charles. Okay, and this is in the final of the 2015 World Championships. Okay, so um let's get going so the first thing to look at is really kind of how they start the fight okay you can see that both have dropped a really low posture here okay half is super low you know same with same with cabrini as well although half is just a little bit lower than he is um and this is because you know they're both known as being good guard players uh so they're trying to keep their legs back to avoid getting entangled okay now Hafa does a great thing here. Yeah, he runs, catches that lapel. Now here, Cabrini has to be careful because both the Mendes brothers are known for that, that guard pull to ankle pick. Uh, you often see Guy do it, but I know that Hafa's very good at it as well. So here, Cabrini has to think about, um, you know, stopping that from happening, defending that guard, making sure he's not getting tangled back and making sure he's not getting into ankle pick as well. So there, and he's a little bit late on the sit down. So the problem there is if he'd have, uh, sat down and stayed down and Haffer had come on the top, he would have lost two points. So now Haffer gets to his De La Hiva position, very, very strong position for him. And you can see from here, he's already started to tie up this lapel. He's pulled it across. You know, it's going to make it very hard for Cabrini to face him and he's getting a good angle. So as we go further on, you can see that he's really now that Cabri he's really starting to look towards Cabrini's back. Okay, he's got this collar grip which can control it, you know, and it's going to be very hard for Cabrini to face him, which is what he needs to do to defend that position. Okay, yeah, now he's just going around, boom, and as soon as he switches that hand off the collar and to the hip, now Cabrini is in a world of trouble. He really needs to start defending strong, otherwise Hafa is going to take his back, he's going to burn bowl him and go underneath. And that's what he does. Cabrini chooses to try and roll through and beat the roll of Hafa so that he doesn't get his back taken. And he does a pretty successful job of it as well. Here now Haffer's on his back. Uh, he's trying to get underneath the hip still. You can see that he's got this cross position with his legs. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it very hard for Cabrini to put him into 50-50, you know, attack any knee bars, but it's still going to allow him to control the hips as well. So yeah, now here Haffer's uh, coming up. He's looking at actually probably transitioning uh, to the back now, or he's going to look at getting deeper underneath Cabrini's hips. Yeah, so there, when he releases that pant grip, he's still got his other hand gripping the pants. He's now looking at going around and getting to the leg drag position. He's going to reach this hand over and then try and get to the lapel. Okay, again, when he transitions back to the hips, he may be looking at trying to spin back underneath. Now look, he's got that lapel. He's going to try and come up, stabilize in a strong leg drag position. So now he gets the points and he's up two. Now you can see that he's staying very, very heavy over the hips, making it hard for Cabrini. He's got that lapel, and he's really just, you know, forcing Cabrini to work. Cabrini is trying to get this leg back inside. You know, he's doing a good, pretty good job of tangling it up, you know, tying it up with his feet. And now he's, he's shot that one leg inside. He may be looking at going towards the 50-50. The Here he's framing against Haffer's neck to try and keep him off balance uh, and prevent also, like, Haffer going further around towards his back. So I know they stay in this position for a little while, you know, that here he's, the referee's just uh, resetting the grip, uh, the gi pant grip. So let's see what happens. Yeah, Cabrini is doing a good job of just pulling this leg inside. It's going to make it hard for Hafa to transition to like a strong uh, guard pass position or complete that, or even go to the back. It's going to be more difficult to do. Now Cabrini does an excellent job here, he just manages to recover, gets back to that position uh, and then forces Haffer to defend uh, or give up, give up an attack. There's one other thing that Haffer does here as he's losing the position, yeah you can see it there, as he's losing he looks to roll back underneath and you'll see it when he, he reaches behind him 
there and he's starting to grab the hips. Here he's going to try and spin back underneath to avoid Cabrini putting him into any of those positions. Cabrini just does a good job, gets right underneath half his hips, makes it very difficult for him to, to stabilize anything. Now half is just trying to stabilize that top position, you know, not give up the sweep, obviously he doesn't want to get down on points. That's not going to be a good thing for him. So he's just trying to stay on, uh, stay on top. You know, he's very strong from this this way to sweep position. You know, or very good at defending it. Cabrini's legs kind of on the wrong side, so his best option is going to 50-50, which is exactly what he does. You know, now he's going to tie Haffer up. He's going to make sure that he can't get out and probably look to sweep. They've had numerous battles from this position, so they're both going to be well aware of what what the other person is trying to do. Here again, Haffer's looking at controlling the gi pants here, and he's going to look to probably spin underneath and free up his leg. You can see he's reaching underneath this leg, you know, trying to push it off balance. You know, again, so he can start to spin or start to clear his knee line, which is going to be really important if he wants to do that. Now Cabrini has done a good thing, he's, he's recognized the danger with that grip, so he's just pulled it off, you know, and the referees have awarded them both a negative there. So again, you see Half has gone underneath, he's forced this shin inside to try and break the 50-50. You can see that again, it's a really, really good way to start pushing that out. So as he spins, his leg there just comes on the inside, and that gives him some pressure that he can push push off Cabrini effectively uh, to, to start to free up his leg. But again, Cabrini has got this grip. It's going to make it very, very hard for him. So again, now they're just stuck in this upside down position. Half is just, uh, he's trying to again go towards the back, but obviously he's, you know, he's aware of his knees. Uh, he doesn't want to be put in that. It's a great move. He's managed to just disentangle himself very well. And again, he re-rolls straight away towards the back again. Yeah, his foot's got a little bit, well, Cabrini's foot's got a little bit caught up, but, and they go back to the 50-50 again. Let's just look at that one more time because it was really nice. So from here, you know, he's trying to free up his leg. He's trying to push off Cabrinha, you know, free his knee. There, he frees up the knee. He's still got control of the pants so he can still go underneath. He scrambles around to the side. He's looking at going to the leg drag. Cabrinha, Cabrinha does a great job of tying it up. And then Haffer just decides to roll underneath and again go back, trying to take the back or go to that leg drag position. I know from when I was training with um, with half of uh, just prior to this, he was he was incredibly good at this. He would be always rolling underneath from whatever position he was at. Um, very good at either getting to the leg drag, getting to a stronger passing position, or taking the back. Now here he's using this lapel to uh, to come up on top again. Again, he needs to be aware of those points. Cabrini is just tying him up using this um, this weave position. Yeah, and he's using the control on the other sleeve. He's probably aware that half is going to spin underneath, but being aware and stopping it are two different things. Again, now, this is a really key point about the whole fight. Halfa does such a good job of co controlling Cabrini's hips. Okay, so wherever Cabrini goes, he can't really kind of get a good angle to set up any attacks. And you'll notice he goes back to this continually. Now here, Haffer's major problem is this, this weave position. He tries to do the same thing he did before, like putting the knee against the thigh and pulling his leg out, but he just can't quite create the space because of this, this, this lasso position that Cabrini has got. So really what he needs to do is look at freeing up this before he can escape his knee. Cabrini is just trying to use it as, as a regular kind of like lasso sweep. He's gonna try and sweep him this way uh, and knock him off balance. Again, Half has gone to that gee pant grip. He's controlling it, making it hard for, for Cabrinha. 
Again, he sits underneath, trying to create the pressure, trying to free up this lasso, obviously trying to free up his leg as well. Now at that point right there, Cabrinha, let's just go back a little bit. Here he's got the lasso, that's what's st stopping Haffa. But Haffa's hands almost escaped, and now Cabrinha decides to let it go. He decides to pull it out so he can try and come on top. But Haffa recognizes it, defends, and now he's on the hips with his elbow underneath this leg. And he's really pulled the hips in. Like I said, this is one of the key things that Haffa does in this fight. He keeps control of these hips, really sucks them in towards Cabrinha, so he has no good attacking opportunities. Now, what Haffa is going to look to do from here, he's going to look to circle his hand underneath and then invert. Yes. If you just go back a stage, look, he's here. He frees this up. Haffa comes on top. He gets underneath or starts to pull the hips in. Okay, now he switches the grip on the hips. Here, you can see he's using, he's freed up that hand here. Now he switches it underneath. And now he's going to take this one, dive underneath both legs and start going towards the back. Very nice transition. He's straight into that leg drag position. Here, Cabrini is scrambling to get his feet inside, but that just allows Haffa to, uh, to come up towards the back. Let's look at that one more time. So here, Haffa switched the grips, and now he's going to take that. Let's just go a little bit further back. It's just such a beautiful move that Haffa does. You know, he comes on top. He's got control of the gi pants here. He fights his elbow inside. switches the grip so you'll see this hand now he's free he switches it underneath and then dives this arm through rolls good and now he's here he's looking to come up to the leg drag okay Cabrini is turning his knee down defending well so he abandons it starts to scramble but he's got this one leg over the top okay and that's really really key when he comes back here because it sets up that first hook and now he's on it and again he's still got control of those gi pants so he can start coming up towards the back. He does a lovely transition, scrambles, manages to take the back and control. Now again, he locks in this body triangle and here he's just looking, looking at attacking that choke. You know, he's trying to free up the hands, he's hand fighting. Cabrini does an excellent job of keeping his, his chin tucked, keeps the lapel high, makes it very, very hard on Haffa. Yeah, again, they're just fighting from this position. You know, there's a, a lot of the fight spends here now. Okay, so they're just, you know, they're attacking. Half is trying to get his arm underneath the neck. You know, Cabrini is doing his good job of defending, keeping his lapels high. You know, Half has already got his points for the back. So he's, you know, he's perfectly comfortable to stay here pretty much for the rest of the fight. Although knowing half his personality, he wants to get that submission. So he's really attacking. This body triangle is going to be really hard for Cabrini to escape. You know, but as I say, he's doing an excellent job of defending. Here he manages to get back to his knees. But Haffa keeps him over, uses this hook to make it difficult. It's a little bit of a better angle. You can start to see what Haffa's doing. He's punching the lapel through, you know, but you can see how, how, how hard this is going to be. He could be in his head so buried down. You know, so, so hard for him to get underneath there. And Cabrini is just keeping, trying to stay on his side, trying to turn towards Haffa. You know, keep his legs free. Good. And he's trying to spin inside that body triangle. That's really going to be one of his keys here to escaping. So now he's turning, he's turning. Haffa's looking at going to this choke, but he's not quite underneath. He's managed, Cabrini manages to turn. And then as Haffa throws the leg over, he's able to start turning towards him. Here, Cabrini, uh, Haffa's forced to abandon that, uh, that position. And now he's kind of in this, this, this kind of armbar position. Haffa's very good at armbars, but Cabrini is very strong. Just stands him up, shrugs him, takes him off here. Okay, now, you know, Haffa's six points up. You know, he's in guard. He's in a good, strong position. Okay, Cabrini is going to have a tough job of, of really getting those points back. 
and there's a very, you know, there's a very uh, limited amount of time left. I think there's less than a minute left at this point. He's just trying to force open that guard. Good. He manages to do that. He does a great thing here. This is one of the ways that I always pass. I stand up here. I keep my head and posture tall, and I just push on that knee. Okay, that makes it so hard to keep it keep it closed. But again, you notice Hafer goes straight back to his De La Hiva position. He's already looking for that lapel. He's going to do exactly the same set of attacks again. Cabrini's trying that knee slide, but you know Hafer's already underneath, and that's the fight. Okay, so really, really good fight. You know, Hafer does an excellent job of controlling the hips, which is something you really need to, to look at doing when you're in those 50-50 positions. Um, Cabrino does a great job of defending the back. He just stays patient, you know, and gradually works his way out. And it's really just a good fight, really, you know, interesting fight to watch. So that's it for this one. Um, I hope you guys found that useful. I hope you learned a few things. Um, I'll speak to you guys soon.